I realize this isn't the kind of video I normally do. I don't think I've actually made a trade or opened a crate in like four months. But I promise this actually does fit with how I view Rocket League and the kind of content I make. So my favorite types of cars in Rocket League have always been the ones that express who you are. So I'm not like Conor McGregor, so I don't feel like having a really expensive flashy video game car. That just doesn't represent who I am. Maybe it represents who you are. Maybe you're like Conor McGregor, and maybe you don't mind spending crazy amounts of money on a video game car. I personally have always loved the simpler cars. Plus, I won't even justify spending money on a real car, so I'm not going to spend any money on a fake car. For the longest time, I used a standard default color octane with orange Octavian wheels. This car really represents how I view Rocket League. I see it as a game that's more about the player and the player's skills than the flashiness of the car. And for me, it's a way to remove distractions and focus on gameplay. I do realize that there's a whole segment of Rocket League players who don't even really play the game and they just like trading and, you know, that whole aspect of the game. And that's totally fine. So I figured I'd give you guys a list of some of the more iconic Rocket League cars that are actually relatively easy to create. So there's no mystery decals or $200 wheels, mainly because I'm not going to buy that stuff, even to make this video. And I'm also going to show you guys how to make them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get onto it. Jamesbot has used several different skins and decals and wheels for the Merc, but this one is actually my favorite. It's just so ridiculous looking. Like, I honestly can't imagine playing with this thing. <gasps> That's what she said? It's so big and bulky. That's what she said. And I hate that head sticking out. That's what she said! <laughs> but if you are a Merc user, and that just fits your personality, then this is a great way to make your Merc just a little bit more spicy. So just put on this pigeon head, and maybe even go change your name to James Bot. Anyways, this car isn't just iconic because of the pigeon. Apart from Jazer's little stint with the Merc, and claiming that it's the best car ever, James Bot is basically the only person to swear by the Merc. I honestly can't think of anybody using it in RLCS, outside of obviously the qualifiers. Regardless, there are a lot of Merc lovers out there. So it looks like he's just using the wings decal, and it looks like the wheels are the ripper wheels. So you're gonna have to get the ripper to get those wheels. So yeah, there you go. This may be the simplest car on my list, but it's honestly one of my favorites. It's the old scrub killer car. I'm not sure how long he used it, but for some reason it's really the car I think of when I think of scrub. I think he was trying to represent the Scottish flag with it but I'm not positive of that. Really, it just feels like soccer to me, especially with these Cristiano wheels. So obviously to make this, you need those wheels, and then it's basically just blue or red with white stripes. So it's really not flashy, but when you're scrub killer, you don't need a flashy car. I remember when Fairy Peak first showed up on Johnny Boy's stream. Like his name was just so weird. And then combined with this car, I don't know, at the same time it also kind of made sense. I will say this is one of the few toppers that doesn't drive me crazy. It really feels like it's part of the car, and it doesn't feel like it's blocking your vision. Unfortunately, Fairy Peak did usually have the heat wave, so you can't just build this out of nothing. But if you get the furry paint and you put the wildcat ears on, you can actually really make your car look like an animal. Or you could just do this whole Pikachu car, which is also really cool. Jacob has used lots of different cars over the last two years. Most of them have been flat cars like the Dominus, the Breakout, or the Breakout S. I always loved his blue Dominus. It just felt like a cowboy car. I personally can't stand playing with this topper, but hey, if you like it, then go for it. So this one's pretty easy to make. Basically, you just uh, get a flat car and then put a foam hat on it. So yeah, there's that. Pashi has been using a pink car basically since the beginning of Rocket League. So when you really think about it, what color is better on the orange team besides the color orange? For me, I don't really like yellow, I don't really like red. Pink is one of the best colors. Throw in some pink wheels and you've got a great looking car. The key to creating this car is you just go and pick the octane and then pick the color pink. So then you'll have um, a pink octane, pretty simple. And then go change your name to Pashi obviously. It's even better when you take the red octane and then make the primary color pink. I just feel like the pink really brings out the red. And you know, these colors just look so good together. I don't know. Maybe it's just my opinion. The only other professional player that uses a pink car is Marky Duda. 
For a good amount of time he used the Marauder, but he also used a pink Octane as well. One thing I will say about using a pink car, it does kind of help you stick out on the field since very few people use them. Maybe that's what Pashi and Marky Duda are going for. I don't know. So to make this car, you'll need to buy the Marauder, which is a great purchase by the way, and then pick the color pink. And there you go, you'll have a pink Marauder just like Marky Duda. But hopefully you'll have a little bit better work ethic. Just kidding. Man, can I just say this is by far the worst video I've ever made. It's not because I don't have more good ideas, it's just that I thought that this was a good idea. Yeah. Whatever, let's just finish this. I, I promise it'll get better. So Licinio's pearlescent car is one of the most iconic Rocket League cars, and it's definitely one of my favorites. He has a video explaining how to make it, and even some options if you don't have the Alpha Boost or Alpha Wheels. It's weird, this is one of the coolest cars I've seen, and I actually think it would look great with some of the newer wheels, but I never really see people using it. So basically, you need to just have a plain octane, and go ahead and pick this sort of greenish blue color as the main color, and then this purple as the accent. You can experiment with different colors, there are other cool ones, and honestly, most of them look cool. Then you need to pick metallic pearl as the primary color and metallic as the accent. To make his gold octane, you just make yellow the primary color and then black the accent with that same metallic pearl and pearl as the type of paint. Then you just find some wheels that look like the alpha wheels, or you know, you go sell your PS4 to buy them, and you're good to go. The next iconic Rocket League car is Rizzo's taco car thing. I honestly don't know what to call it. It just looks like a fiesta on wheels to me. So this is the kilowatt decal, which you can get for like one or two dollars on game flip. And then the spiralis wheels, which are also just a few dollars. I think these are actually lime spiralis, but I'm so cheap that I didn't even go buy them for this video. So there you go. I think I just need to accept the fact that I'm just never going to be one of those YouTubers. Actually, I think I'm okay with that. Also, if you do create this car, you also get this goal explosion. So, you know, it's worth it in my opinion. This car is the old Jazer car that he used for quite a while. And for me, it's like really nostalgic. Because when I see this car, I think of when I first started watching Jazer and, you know, first started seeing his freestyle videos and his tutorials. And like, I just remember being completely mind blown at how amazing he was. So to make this car, basically you just take the brake out and use the stars decal. And so the car is yellow and the accent is black. And then he also has Asterios wheels, which I just don't really care for, but it's part of the car. And also the star antenna, so there's just stars everywhere. Let me just go try to do some freestyling and see if this car helps me at all. Okay, so it doesn't make you a better freestyler, but you do look pretty snazzy while you're doing it. Before we look at the most iconic Rocket League car that I can think of, let's look at a few more expensive designs. Alright, this is in my opinion the most iconic Rocket League car of all time, and thankfully, it's super easy to make. Basically, it's an orange or green Dominus with the Skulls decal, and then black wheels and the black sunglasses. For a while, Cronovi actually used a very similar car, and actually, like, pretty much everybody playing Rocket League when it first came out was using this car. Not only because it's really good looking, but because it was Cooksier's car. And, you know, I love it because it fits so well with Cooksier's overall persona. Like, it just fits with who he is. I'm kind of sad that he doesn't use it anymore. Although now apparently the Batmobile is being banned from tournaments or something, so maybe Cooksier will go back and use the Dominus. I don't know. Also, if you use this car, the spirit of Cooksier will take over your car and you will immediately reach Rocket League God status. Alright, there you guys have it, my first and probably my last video about car designs. I'm sure there are plenty of other iconic cars that I missed, so if you can think of any of these, let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos, because I put out videos like this all the time, trading videos, you know, crate opening videos, the whole nine yards. So yeah, make sure to subscribe, I think you guys are going to like this channel. Alright, see you guys soon, hope things are well, peace out.